I wanted to do a quick video about boxes. So if you've been buying tap handles, if you um, if you have tap handles in your collection and you're planning on shipping out, them out, anything like that, obviously you need to box them up. You have to have a way of shipping them out where they're going to be able to get to their destination. And presumably you also want to make sure that they're going to be safe and in good quality. And so I wanted to show you guys something. This is a order that I got. The, the seller um, is actually totally fine, um, but I wanted to call out something here. So this is, this is the box as it came. And you'll notice right there, like this is not doing that much to actually protect the tap handles themselves. So the seller did a great job. This is the second box that I have from them and they bubble wrapped everything inside. They did kind of like a tight pack with items bubble wrapped. Um, this one is a little bit looser, so that's the reason why you get that kind of movement there. And if you are shipping things out like this, then these standard USPS priority boxes aren't going to do a whole lot for actually um, for supporting or protecting the taps. Um, that is going to be the done by any of the bubble wrap or anything like that inside, or, um, if you pack it up tight enough, then you'll get a little bit of protection there. I've got an example of the, uh, small flat rate box. This is actually pretty good for smaller items because it's a little bit of a smaller item. Then you get these, uh, the, uh, the walls provide a touch more strength because it's a because it isn't quite as spread out so you don't have these uh weaker points towards the center but uh and so these are going to be fine for like your lucite taps anything like that if you don't have a lot of fragile items and typically bubble wrap will be fine for the items inside if it's something where you have a fragile tap um then i would typically recommend having another box inside so, or shipping in a different box. This is your standard corrugated. So this, this is going to be, um, this is going to be stronger. It's going to hold up better. You'll see this is just single layer. This one, I believe is just standard duty, but that's going to give you more protection than these, uh, than these regular USPS priority boxes that you get for free. Um, it's worth noting you can get these for free from USPS. I highly recommend them as far as uh, your basic packaging, but if it's something where you want to have something a little bit more sturdy, then this is going to be a good option. What I personally will do a lot is I will pack up the taps in its own individual box. So this is what kind of gives it its security. I'll do a little bit of inner packaging there so that it's going to be safe and protected. And then I'll put any of the taps into a outer USPS box. So the outer USPS box is mostly for holding things together, throwing the label on it, that sort of stuff. This inner box is going to be its real protection. So um, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a heads up and a rundown of that because I was thinking about that. Uh, and you also want to keep that in mind if you're buying from a seller that you haven't bought from before. You, um, If it's something where it's a private seller you haven't bought from them before, it's worth kind of sending them out a message and saying like, hey, um, I know this is a fragile tap. Can you make sure that it's packed in this type of way? Or if it's something where it's like acrylic or lucite, something that's a little bit more durable, then you can kind of be like, oh, whatever, they'll be, they'll be fine. I don't have to worry about it that much. But if it is something that's fragile, you'll want to make sure that you're communicating with the seller if it is a private seller. Um, so I did want to just give you guys a little bit of heads up. Also, if you're selling your taps, um, if you're shipping them out, my, recommenda my recommended method um, if it's lucite, something like that, you can do bubble wrap and the USPS priority box. That'll normally be fine. If it's something where it's a more fragile, uh, tap, I recommend doing the inner box and then putting that into whatever you're shipping it in.